Hello everybody, it's Fufu here, and today I've got another experiment video. I've now Pokebanked a ton of my old Pokemon. So I've got this Darkrai event Pokemon, and I'm very excited to use it. Apparently this generation, only Darkrai can use Dark Void, and I am going to test that theory today. So I've got a number of different things I want to do. So let's get started. First of all, what I'm going to do is try to use Dark Void with Smeargle. Now, Smeargle using Dark Void is something that we've seen quite a lot, especially in previous VGC metas, because it puts both of the opponents to sleep, which is a very strong tactic. They can't move, so obviously it's really, really strong. So I'm going to sketch uh, Dark Void and then um, I'm, what I'm going to do is see if I can use the Dark Void. Now this is going to, I've got a bit of a setup to help me be able to sketch Dark Void because it's not the easiest move to sketch because obviously your Pokemon falls asleep and rather than just having you watch my Pokemon fall asleep and then try to wake up while it sketches the Dark Void, I've actually just set up the terrain with my Tapu Fini. I thought that would be far easier. So um, I've got the Misty Terrain set up. What I can then do is just go for Dark Voids. There's no chance of a Smiggle falling asleep because of the Misty Terrain. And I'm just going to sketch that Dark Void attack. And then what I'm going to do is switch into my Tapu Lele to get rid of the Protective Mist to try to use Dark Void on it. So this is basically a proof of concept that only Dark Rai can use the Dark Void this generation. So I'm just going to switch out to my Tapu Lele and use the Dark Void with my Smeargle. And uh, the, the attack might miss, but that would actually mean that it's working because if it doesn't work, it will just fail. So we're looking to see this attack just fail. And uh, so there's the Dark Void. Smeargle can't use the move. It doesn't even just fail, it, Smeargle just can't use the move. So that is the proof that Smeargle cannot use the move. Now I'm going to set up a few more experiments, so see you in a second. Okay, so for part two of this experiment, it's going to be... Uh, I, I hope it's going to work. There's going to be some tricksy switching involved to ensure that Zorok gains its illusion ability with Darkrai. So first I'm going to test whether Ditto, transformed into Darkrai, can use Dark Void because it's transformed into the same Pokemon. I'm quite hopeful that that will actually work. So a Pokemon other than Darkrai probably will be able to use Dark Void. I've seen Ditto use uh, signature Z-moves for other Pokemon, so I think that might work. But then the final test, something that someone suggested to me, maybe Zorok with an illusion of Darkrai will be able to use the move too. This is a really interesting theory, so we're gonna test it now. Um, but as I say, I have to do some tricksy switching to make sure that Ditto can transform into Darkrai, but that my um, Zorok then also has the illusion of Darkrai, so I hope I'm going to get this right. So anyway, um, first of all, I'm sending out my Zorok disguised as Lucario. Um, <laughs> I, I promise you, I, I've worked this out, I'm pretty sure it's going to work. Um, and what I'm going to do is switch into straight into my Dark Rye and then switch into my um, Ditto on the same turn because my Dark Rye will come out first because Zorok is faster than Tapu Lele and uh, Ditto will transform into the Dark Rye. Once Ditto is transformed into Dark Rye, I can test whether Ditto can use Dark Void. I'm pretty sure it will be able to, and that will confirm that Dark Rye is not the only person, uh, Pokemon that can use Dark Void. So, there we go. We've got Ditto in as Dark Rye. That's perfect. We're going to go straight for the Dark Void here, and I'm going to switch out and go into my Lucario. That will hopefully put Dark Rye at the back of my party so that Zorok will then come out with the illusion of my Dark Rise. So there we go, there's the animation for Dark Void, pretty darn cool animation, really like that. So uh, my, yeah, my Lucario is put to sleep, there's the Bad Dreams, really cool ability from Dark Cry, doing damage whenever an opponent is asleep. And so now what I'm going to do is switch into my Zorok and it will be disguised as my Dark Rye, and what I'm going to do is just go for a nasty plot so that I'm not doing any damage or anything to break my Zorok's illusion. So yeah, you can see it's coming out as my Dark Rye. Phew! Yes, that's how it's meant to be. So I've got uh, Dark Rye versus um, Zorok here. 
what I'm going to do, Darkrai is faster than Zorok, so I'm going to go for a Dark Void. My Zorok is actually holding the Chesto Berry, and what I'm going to go for is a Copycat straight away, so that I can try and Copycat the Dark Void. I have a feeling this is not going to work. So here's the Copycat, does a little flip, very nice, going to go for Dark Void. But Morpheus can't use the move. Now that is a surefire way to tell that that is not actually a Darkrai. So that's really interesting. Even disguised as a Darkrai, Zorok does not have the power to use that move. It was a really interesting theory and I definitely wanted to test it, but it's a bit of an unfortunate circumstance that it doesn't work. It makes sense though, because Zorok is not actually Darkrai, so it doesn't hold that power. However, yet again on my channel, Ditto proves itself the master of disguises and illusions, and it can just do whatever the, the Pokemon it turns into can do. It can do signature Z moves, it can do anything. So that is really cool. So Darkrai is not the only Pokemon that can use Dark Void, but Ditto is the only other Pokemon that can use Dark Void, or any other Pokemon that can use Transform, to be fair. So that's Mew and uh, Smiggle as well, if it transforms into Darkrai, rather than just sketching Dark Void. But that's gonna be all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Fufu, you've been awesome, and hopefully see you next time. Goodbye.